So you're watching this part if you want to put the word grease on the back. You have a piece of paper in your kit and I want you to take a pencil and I want you to use the side of the pencil and scribble all over the back of that piece of paper. This is going to help transfer the word grease onto your canvas. So get that all full, then you're going to turn it over and trace it and it's going to work like magic. Now that I have the word grease transferred onto my canvas in graphite, I'm going to take that pen that's in your kit. It's like a Sharpie pen. It's permanent black ink. And I'm going to go around the word grease. I'm going to go all the way around it so I have that whenever I paint it. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm Teresa with Teresa's Tablet Art Studio. I teach adults and kids art at Turtle Creek Gallery. Let's get started painting. Now, no, this isn't a mistake. If you bought the pink car kit, this is the same video. All you have to do is swap the colors. You have both colors in your kit, so it really doesn't matter which, which video you watch. So I just made this one, and every now and then I put some tips in whenever I painted the pink car as well. Now that paintbrush you've got there, you've got two paintbrushes in your kit. You'll be doing most of your painting with this paintbrush. It's kind of a small paintbrush, but I have noticed that newcomers to painting, they always want to use this teeny tiny brush. You could get by with a bigger brush if you have one, but this one's just fine too. Um, you also have the permanent marker already on the canvas for you. What's great about this is you don't have to be really, really careful to details like up in that corner of the fender. If I get a little bit of blue paint on the black marker, once everything is dry, I just go back over it with black marker. I would cons really consider doing that no matter what. It'll make your edges look really nice and neat at the very final. See how I turn the canvas over there? I want you to turn the canvas over for you too. Whatever is easiest for you to paint and to keep your hands out of the paint. Turn it whichever way you need to. At any time, if you need to pause this video, go right ahead. You might even want to make it go fast forward in some cases. Make it work for you. Once again, remember in those tight places there, it's okay to go over the black lines. When everything is dry, you can go back over it with the black marker. Do make sure everything is like really dry. You will mess up your black marker in a heartbeat if it is the slightest bit wet. here I'm holding the edge of the brush next to the black that way I can make a nice neat tight line if I want to believe me you're still gonna make a mistake and have to go back in and fix it up but I do need to go back down because usually when you do that you kind of get a bead of thicker paint there so I'm just blending that out I don't want beads of thicker paint it might be the same color as what's right next to it but you it will read as some shadows if you've got too much paint on there. Needless to say, it's also go not gonna dry as fast. You get thin coats on and then put another thin coat on. It'll dry so much faster, even if you have to do two coats. Why am I getting paint and blobbing it right there? 
Sometimes I pick up too much paint and I realize I do and instead of blobbing it back off onto my palette, I'll blob it off where I know that I'm going to need it. I just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth. See, I did it again. I'll do it a lot through this whole painting. If you have too much on your brush, you're going to make this thick line and you're, you're just not going to like that. You're going to want some nice thin layers. again I'm going to turn that canvas over so it's easy for me. I'm right-handed and I like to have my lines on a certain side. It's just easier. I'm not contorting my wrist or my body to feel comfortable. I'm turning the canvas so it's easier to do. For this painting, I'm just going to leave my whites white. You can always get some white paint if you make any kind of mistake and, and use the white, but I really don't think you're going to need any white paint for this painting. Now you can wait for the paint to dry or you can take a hair dryer to it. I've got a heat gun that's always nearby when I'm painting so I'll use my heat gun. What I was showing you there is I want to get into those tight areas but I just got done painting all the blue down at the bottom but I needed to turn the canvas over so it was easier for me to paint. So just so I don't make any mistakes and put my hand and push my hand into the paint and getting it all over the place, I'm going to dry it up a little bit. Then I can continue painting. You can see me touch it here to make sure it's dry. Another way to see if it's dry is kind of look at it from the side and if it looks shiny, it's still wet. Whenever it dries, it's a nice matte color. A little bit about brushes. When you clean your brush, make sure it's nice and dry and then you can run your fingers over the bristles and get those back together again. But if you have a lot of moisture in your brush or if it gets down into that metal part, then you turn it back upright and you get into another paint, you're going to dilute the paint and you're not going to like that. You'll have to blob it off and start all over. Now I've started with my pink color and the word grease. This is a little bit harder to do. So as long as you stay inside the black lines, that's great. You can go over the black lines like I said earlier. Just don't go on the opposite side of them. Feel free to just do this as fast as you need to do or as slow as you need to do. But really, it's going to miss look messy when you first start it. Every painting has an ugly stage. Every person has an ugly stage. Hopefully we just don't stay in it as long as the others. But yeah, this is kind of the ugly stage of the painting. This might be a good place to pause the video again. You've probably already paused it, but go ahead and get that lettering done. Now, I know that tail lights aren't pink, but I want to keep with the color scheme. I'm being really careful here around that black, but you don't have to be. You can go right over that black and then after it dries, go back over with the Sharpie. This 
Oh, now we have the pink car making her debut. I've got the letters in the greenish turquoise color and I'm just gonna go over every single bit of them with that Sharpie and make everything nice and smooth. I'm really concentrating on where the Sharpie touches the paint the most. That's where you wanna smooth it back out because you probably got paint a little bit on them. Maybe you noticed that I painted over that tail light area, the black area. So go ahead and put that back in now. This is the time that you should tidy up any of your black lines. grab some of the black paint and do your tires. This is a great time to practice turning that picture to help you out. I'm not turning mine very much because I'm trying to keep it on the camera for you, but it'll be so much easier. Uh, also that little center spot on the tire, go ahead and use your marker to do that if you're not comfortable with that black paint in that tight area. Now for the edges. I've got that sponge brush and I'm going to do mine with all three colors, the teal, the pink, and the black. I'm going to make like a checkered pattern, kind of like the old 50s diner. And I'm just using my paintbrush starting at the top of the edge of the canvas. And you see me there, I'm spacing out. I didn't put any paint on there. I know I'm gonna do black and I'm going to do the turquoise in between. So you can see that's how I space out. Then I've got that little area. So I know I want, when I turn it there, I know that I want a little bit there to be left so I can get the color of the bronze in there. I think it's uh, the teal color. Go all the way around your edges. When you get to your last edge, it's kind of easier if you hold your canvas like a piece of pie. Depending on how big your hands are, it works pretty good. If you don't have all the colors on your edges yet, go ahead and pause here. Get the rest of the colors on there. Also, I want you to take the hair dryer and dry it or leave it so it has enough time to dry. If you try to use your Sharpie on wet paint, you will ruin your Sharpie immediately. As you can see, I'm just going here and I'm drawing lines between my pink and my teal color. Other options for the edge, you could leave it if that's the way you like it. And if you're going to put it in the frame, you're definitely just leave it. You can do um, just one of the colors that you like. If you want to do it all black, all pink. Here you can see that I'm taking my Sharpie and I'm going over the edge. I'm just kind of outlining the edge. You'll see here in a minute and I'll show you what that looks like. There, you can see the edge of the canvas. You can also see how I did the pink one different than the teal colored one. Thank you for painting along with me. Check out some of the other videos on my channel here.